What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to cover a few certain leaks. One which is possibly fake and the other which has much more credibility behind it. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like seriously helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so a few days ago, uh, a supposed GameStop leak dropped on Reddit where they always dropped drop and you can see this on screen now let's read through it before i give you guys my thoughts on it destiny 2 expansion 2 warmind deploys your guardian on an urgent mission to mars with an all new story campaign destination and new adventures following the events of expansion 1 curse of osiris charmaine has been mysteriously reactivated on io and is assimilating Exo across the system in a new army of war machines. Trapped in a physical body by Charmaine, Rasputin has been rescued by Anna Bray, the last the Bray family. Work with the duo to breach into the Exo network and stop Charmaine before he marches upon the Traveller. Explore Site 8 on Mars and defend against an army of corrupted Crypt Exo as you fight to confront Charmaine within the Exo subnet. Ascend the deep stone crypt as you fight against increasingly powerful bosses in a new cooperative activity. New cinematic campaign and adventures, new war mine themed weapons, armor and gear to unlock, new cooperative raid layer activity, new competitive multiplayer arenas and more. So reading through it, in my opinion this is fake, but it's been done by somebody who knows their law. Me personally I just think there's too much info given here, I mean what we read sounds super cool. Crypt Exos, an army of Exo warriors we have to fight off. I love the idea of this. Also, ascend the deep stone crypt as you fight against increasingly powerful bosses in a new cooperative activity. Again, a law guy has done this, but it sounds pretty cool and it sounds like some kind of horde mode. Something many of us have wanted from day one. But what makes it seem fake to me is the wording of certain sentences. It's like they've tried too hard to not make mistakes which has led to a few mistakes. Now what pretty much confirms this is fake to me is within the next image which was also leaked with this. And if I didn't say these were supposedly leaked on GameStop by the way, I've searched and I cannot find them. So we see this right here. We see its price, 19.99, And then we see its release date, well shit. I think we're all a bit late. Here's me dropping leaks when the DLC is already out. What were we thinking people? As you see it states April 8th, when it should state May 8th. I think the dude behind this was either drunk or forgot to photoshop in May's date. I mean we've seen many leaks like this. We had a few last month, which I will add, although the name was slightly off calling the expansion to the Fallen War mind, it predicted the release date correctly. So there's definitely something more to these leaks if you ask me. The same could be said for this one. Who knows, come May 8th, we might look back and think, hey that leak from the middle of April was right. But yeah, I just think there's, there's just too many things here, which to me, makes me believe it's fake. But who knows people, who knows? Let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Okay, so we're going to move on. And do you Destiny 1 veterans remember this image? Now this is an image which was leaked a while back, and I mean a while back. Never confirmed to be legit, I don't believe. But it was said to have been leaked from inside Bungie, and it showed the roadmap for Destiny 1. At the center of the image was an upcoming DLC called Comet Plague of Darkness. This was never actually a thing, but some recent info put together by Bungie takes us back to this Comet expansion. So this year marks the 5th anniversary of the Gauntlet Tabletop fundraiser, which you guys can read more about on the screen now. Link to this will be in the video description if you do want to check it out. Basically you are rewarded for donating and helping a great cause indeed. You see the things here you get for indeed donating. What's interesting here though is that $50 donation reward received an unannounced new exclusive emblem in the fall for our next Destiny Comet release. Very interesting indeed. Comet release. Now it is important to state that this is indeed worded by Bungie. So Bungie wrote this. Let's just get that straight. So what's Comet? Well, if you ask me, I wouldn't say it's actually referring to the leaked DLC image we saw from Destiny 1 a while back as such. What Comet is in my opinion is a placeholder word for a major expansion, here referring to the Fall expansion. Comet being big, Comet being major, Comet being something about to hit Tilted Towers. But yeah, in my opinion guys, it's just a placeholder word for sure. 
I've only covered this because I've seen numerous people go crazy over this point. I mean, I could be wrong and a full DLC could be called coming. I just don't think that's going to be the case at all. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below within that comment section. On that note, guys, I am out. If any more news drops, Destiny 2 Wise, I will have you covered here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new around here. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really does help me out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.